In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Cash App account close. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to understand why your account was closed in the very first place. So number one, it could be due to a violation of terms of service, engaging in prohibited activities such as fraudulent transactions or using the app from unsupported regions. Another reason why it could be closed is incomplete or inaccurate information, failing to provide accurate personal details or verification documents. It could also be due to suspicious activity, such as multiple chargebacks, disputes, or unusual login patterns. And also the use of VPNs or multiple devices could trigger your Cash App account to actually be closed. So the first thing you need to do is you need to contact Cash App support. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to go to the top right and select on your profile picture just like so. Then you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see this option that does say support. Then what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and scroll down and you want to select on something else. And then you want to go ahead and press on chat right over here. And basically you want to explain to the cash app to support your situation, explain to them that your cash app account was closed and stuff like that. And they will let you know if it's even possible for you to get your account back. So be prepared to verify your identity, by the way, before you even do this. So please make sure you have a government issued ID ready to go your social security number, and a proof of address. You need to make sure that all information matches your previous account details, otherwise this will not work. So basically, after submitting your request, you need to wait for Cash App to review your case. Now, response times can vary. Some users report waiting several days to even several weeks, and it's a little bit unfortunate that the Cash App support really isn't the best, but unfortunately, this is just what we have to work with at the moment. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.